Okay, so this is my third attempt at this video. Um, let me make sure this is taping before I start because I don't want to do it again. Okay, so um, I'm going to do a short haul video um, really quick. So anyways, um, I've been getting some makeup products over the past two weeks or so, um, and I just wanted to share them with you guys. Okay, so I had heard a lot about a lot of the e.l.f. products. I'm sorry if I'm rushing because my tape is only taping um, like four minutes or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to get to this quick. Uh, I've been hearing about e.l.f. products, so I want to try a couple things out. Um, the first thing that I got is a powder brush, and it's in number 84003. It looks like this. And it's a flat um, powder brush, looking like that. I really like the packaging, or the, not the packaging, the, I don't know, materials, I guess. It's shiny at the top. Um, the bristles are pretty shiny, and then the bottom part is just really matte. So I don't know what I'm going to use this for, but the person that I saw on YouTube that recommended this um, was using it as a blush brush. So that's an e.l.f. powder brush. And I'll let you guys know how some of these products work out, uh, work out, because I haven't used this one yet. The next thing I got from e.l.f. is the e.l.f. Studio Brush Shampoo. It looks like this. Um, this was three dollars. Also forgot to tell you that this was three dollars as well. Um, so I've been needing a brush cleaner um, for my brushes in between applications, and I didn't want to get anything in uh, anything expensive. So I saw this while I was looking at um, Target at the Elf section, and decided I'd try it out. Um, I haven't used it yet. But when I do, hopefully soon, I'll let you guys know how this works out. I mean, it's a regular brush shampoo, so um, I'm sure it'll just do, you know, what most shampoos are supposed to do. And that's clean. Okay, so next, um, I've been experimenting with um, just like lipsticks and more so like lip liners and stuff. Um, instead of just simply gloss, which I kind of wore for a long time. Um, solely for a long time. So the first thing that I picked up, um, and these are both from the NYX line, um, is the NYX Lip Liner in Cabaret number 804. This is a wine reddish color um, that can be used as a base for either a bright red or a wine color. I will swatch it for you. Hopefully you can see that most likely you can't um, and if you can't um, just let you guys know that I like the way this looks um, when I want a bold red lip I pair it with the Revlon lipstick in uh, super lustrous lipstick number 655 in scarlet velvet looks like this and this is that lipstick um, I won't swatch these for you because these aren't really a part of my haul Okay, when I want a wine color, I use the Milani, and it's like a wine color, um, and this is in Vino Tinto, Vino Tinto, number 12, and that's by Milani. I don't know if they still carry these, because I got this a long time ago for free, um, in like a free gift bag. Um, the next liner that I got by, uh, also in the NYX brand, is Auburn number 916. This is a nude lip color, um, and I will swatch this for you. Don't know if you can see it, and of course it's nude, so you probably won't be able to anyway. Okay, and that's number 916 Auburn. This is great for a nude lip, and I've been pairing it with my NYX um, number 603 in the color T, T-E-A. And it looks like that. I won't swatch it since it's not a part of my haul. And I have that on right now.